Lisa! Don't move! Miss Aaron, I heard what happened. You performed admirably. You can leave the rest to us. Madeline! Wait! Aaron! Unfortunate what happened to Commander Malkovich. And to think that his entire unit was annihilated. Truly a tragic day. Would you agree, Aaron? Sadly, with them gone, you're just an outsider. And given your unofficial status, I cannot allow you contact with the witness. With your predilection for transporting illegal cargo like infant Metroids, I must ask that you restrict your... <laughs> Time for the lady to go home. Someone escort her. Yes, sir. Time for us to go. Come on, princess. What? Stop right there. Who are you? Anthony Hicks, sir. Galactic Federation Platoon 7. I need to secure the safety of any survivors, Commander Malkovich's orders, and the purpose of this mission. What? Authorized by the Chairman of the Galactic Federation. Of course. What do you mean, the Chairman? Oh, man, you guys made it here quick. I mean, if I hadn't stopped the engines, we might have missed each other. <sighs> how something good can come out of something bad. Whoa, didn't mean to wake her. Guess I ought to be quiet. Anthony was trying to be courteous to Madeline. She was exhausted and had only just fallen asleep. She needed the rest. She had a lot of explaining to do once she got to Galactic Federation Headquarters. For herself, and for Melissa. Still can't get my head around it. What a crazy mission. <sighs> Anthony sighed as he muttered to himself. What would have happened if we hadn't been called there? Might the furious MB have attacked the Galactic Federation and brought about its utter destruction? Melissa wasn't insane, no. One day, a consciousness simply bloomed within her. And those that caused it to bloom, the humans, called it insanity. I was the insane one. That was what Madeline muttered softly as she sank into sleep. The selfish conceits of humans drove envy to violence. It was their distorted perceptions and greed that awoke such fury in the fledgling girl's heart. Her thought was to punish the foolish and conceited. But MB could not complete her mission. As Melissa, she was defeated. With their one vulnerability overcome, the Metroids were indestructible. 
If some fool just following orders had taken the savage creatures to those who sought them, I can't imagine what would have happened if Adam hadn't recognized the looming danger. But the cost was far too great. Why did Adam have to pay with his life? For me, I couldn't believe he was dead. For the first time, I questioned his choice. No objections, right lady? I heard Adam's voice in my head. And I knew in my heart that he had made the right decision. Just as he had so many years ago. In that moment, I swore not to grieve his death. And for the first time, I gave him a thumbs up just in case he was watching over me. His amused expression looked as though he wanted to say something. His face and Adam swirled together. That last smile as Adam drifted away.
Ultimately, the decision was made to destroy the bottle ship. A mission that will most likely be carried out in the next day or two. I'm heading toward the bottle ship now. I'm going to rescue something that was left there. Something that can't be replaced. <laughs>